Okay, hang on. Still getting things set up here. Blech. Uh, where did I put that? I'm not quite sure. Like, over here somewhere. There it is, found it! <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. La -da 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 -da. This is such a horrible thing. No! Damn it! Damn it, don't damn it! I'm so perplexed! Okay. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Yippee! Haha! -ha. I'm almost ready. <laughs> Hang on. Um, music's pretty loud, so let's turn that down. Like, just about there should be fine. Is that okay? Yeah, it's still, it's still at a good level. Okay. Let me make sure all this is, like, visible. Because it's a pain in the ass. Especially with lighting today. Lighting is atrocious. I apologize for that in advance. Um, it's a little peculiar today. Peculiar. Mm, that's what she says. Yes, indeed. I mean, it is, so... Okay. Alright, I think we're ready. Yippee! Are we? Are you? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and move it over. Hello! Hi, it's me, Wild Hand Lady. <laughs> How's it going? Good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Are we sure about what? Sure about existence? I, I, I don't know yet. It, it seems overrated. <laughs> but hello. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. I mean, I have a generalized idea, but you know. Hold on. Holding on. I can't open it for some reason. Meh. There we go. Ah, that's actually just what I was looking for. Wow. Wow. Hold on. I might be able to find where. What the fuck is wrong with this? I don't know. I'm not sure what the fuck is wrong with it, but it's okay. Damn! 4,000 points to the thing. <laughs> and then 14,000. Jeez, that puts us at uh, 75%. Wow. You have a lot of points, man. You have a lot of points. Um, I want to get some colors ready because I have an idea of... Like, I actually do have an idea of what I'm doing today. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, okay, I can die in peace now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Um. Ooh, this is a nice dark green. What is this? Dark green. <laughs> Someone else can contribute the other 5k. Yeah. Is that all it's gonna take to finish out the um community challenge? Is 5k? God damn. Let me take a look. Because we're at... I can't see it on this side. Fuck. Yep. Good lords. Yeah, we're at 80%. Fuck. <laughs> well then, uh, if you guys want to torture me for 10 hours on Minecraft, um, the community challenge is still available. It's at 80% thanks to Sam. So thank you, Sam, for... Um, advocating for my torment <laughs> and there's my mother <laughs> cue my mom stepping in and being like i'm just gonna put these over here don't mind me <laughs> oh, gods. oh man oh jeez. i'm gonna use these three for now Meh. <laughs>
<laughs> and there's my mother. <laughs> That's great. It's just like, oh, who did this? Oh, hi, Blitz. Listen, I I would have contributed all my points because I had over 30k. Yeah, they have like a um. They have a weird block on it, which I don't really understand too much. Yeah, 2k limit, indeed. Yeah. They have a 2k limit for some fucking reason. For some fucking reason? Me. Also, I stretched out the chat on screen so it would be easier to read, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to look at some bushes and shrubbery and stuff of the sort. Oh shit, I just realized you could see my leg down here. Like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's leg evil. Scandal. It's very pale, indeed. I'm a very pale person. <laughs> I never claim to be anything other than exceedingly pale. Um, let's see. Trees. Many, many trees. Yes. Hmm, what to draw? Ooh, that one looks cool. Okay. That's my idea for right now, is to just kind of fuck around with the markers a little bit. So what are we drawing? Well, right now, I kind of want to break some things... Dinosaur Ranch. <laughs> I want to break some, uh, like, stuff down into simple shapes and then color them a little bit. Like, maybe do dinosaur cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Maybe later. But I want to take some trees and plants and break them down into like uh, simple shapes and then just color them and have some fun with it for a starter, for as a warm up. And then we'll move on to maybe one of those <laughs> Jurassic Park amusement park? <laughs> Jurassic Park amusement park. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Alright. I mean... Hmm? Oh, have you seen... Okay, I need to nerd out a little bit. Just a little bit. Hello there, Cosmic Monkey! Welcome! I have a lot of dumb ideas. Am I... Do I have permission to be a nerd for, like, ten minutes? <laughs> I need to- I- hello. I would like- can I take 10 minutes of your time to be an absolute nerd? <laughs> so... Um, the new Transformers 1 movie trailer came out this morning. And... <laughs> the chat is very small. What are you drawing today? I'm drawing trees and stuff. I am a nerd. Well, I would like to talk about Transformers for a moment if you don't mind, chat. <laughs> If you don't mind, um, while I draw, um, oh, did you ever see your mushroom tree? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to show you guys. Hold on. I, I haven't posted it anywhere yet, so let me do that for you real quick. I'll show you the end product. This book does not have easy turning. There we go. Ta-da! Little gobble. How could you? I'm sorry. There it is. There we are. Everybody's seen it now. You, you just can see it. You see the fire finger tree thing <laughs> with the gobble. Anywho, so the trailer came out today and I'm actually quite excited for it now because it's not... It's... It, it's animated, which I really enjoy. I feel like a majority of like any any form of a show or movie on Transformers, I feel like should be animated. See, like live action just doesn't work for them, as we've seen in the past. Um, 
<laughs> so it looks good it looks like it's fun at first i was worried that it was going to be catered towards kids and then it's like oh no they actually cuss in this <laughs> like cuss cuss oh wow cool nice so i can't wait for that um oh so there were you might hear some um horns and cars in the background they're working on the train tracks today <sighs> so that's a thing that's happening i don't know man michael bay is making a killing oh 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 i mean yeah he is making a killing he he did make a killing off of the you should draw mushroom pokemon <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I will. I think I will. I think I shall. I shall. <laughs> but I I'm super excited for it now. And the first time... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna go on a tangent here, so stand by. Um, the first time I saw it, and like, uh, they're introducing the characters, of course you have Orion, Pax, Megatron, um, Elita, and then Bumblebee, I was just kind of like, why did they make Bumblebee like that? I don't care for it. And then I had to sit back and be like, wait, whoa, 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 why do I not care about this character that much? Why, why, do, why do I not like this interpretation of him? <laughs> internal debate of like why do i not like this character and then i realized oh because i'm so used to um like I i'm i'm so used to bumblebee being portrayed as like a kid or a preteen so him being portrayed as a young adult is very like confusing for me <laughs> very confusing and now that I have that little tobacco over with, I actually do enjoy his character. I think it's going to be adorable and fun. I'm going to play in the background so you can... <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you going to play, though? That's what I'm curious about. Because typically... So it isn't the first time. Oh, there was a cartoon where Bumblebee... Yeah, that was, um, what? Robots in Disguise? But that one kind of flopped sim simply just because of, like really poor story and such like i remember trying to get into that and it just it never piqued my fancy then they just brought characters back and it was really awkward and here's the deal when it comes to tfp and then robots in disguise um those two or they're technically uh, TFP is the prequel, Robots in Disguise is sequel. Um, they're based off of the movies, Michael Bay's movies, which is a horrible thing. I like the moose. Yeah, the moose guy was kind of cool. He's from Jersey, though. He's from Jersey. You gotta remember that he's from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so strange, but I also enjoyed it just because it was like, okay, we're playing around with this. All right, all right, I see you. He's from Jersey, though. He's a Jersey moose. <laughs> yeah, there's a moose in Jersey. My friend from New Jersey didn't even know that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh man. Nice tree. He's a tree and it's a tree that's treeing. It's being a tree. It's existing in tree. But yeah, I'm kinda gonna take this movie as a It'll be interesting to see what they do with it, you know? I don't think it's gonna be like, oh, we're basing a new continuity off of it. I think it's just to have fun 
and to try a new animation style, which I can I can appreciate that. New animation styles are always fun to explore. And it, it, it honestly, it fits well for the series. In my humble, in my humble opinion, as a connoisseur of animations. Ooh. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> but no, I was joking about the Pokemon. Oh. But, 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 but. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, that would be the 11th. Well, you know what? I'll just text it to you in a few minutes. Uh, here, I'll text it to you. Blech. Hang on. The tree is going to sit there for a moment. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. Hold on. Bah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, chat. There we go. Here we go. Yay! So. <laughs> okay, let me get back into this. <laughs> Oh, I still have to get three done. I'm almost done with the first, uh, I'm almost done with your commission, but it, uh, <laughs> I need to get that second sketch request done because I haven't tapped into it, even though I probably should. I probably should get that started just because it's a quote unquote easier. At least it's easier to me in my mind, you know, it's like, oh, yes, that would be quite simple. It's just poses and such. But nay, my brain's like, no, you must get this one done first. Anywho, <laughs> let's get some markers out, shall we? Stand by. I gotta move some shit. I gotta move some shit. Murder. Ah! Fuck! Hmm, what are you saying? D&D character. Oh, huh. that sounds interesting. Yeah. That could work. But I need to move this stuff. <laughs> God, one of these days, if, if people really enjoy like my art streams and such, I'm going to like put some money down into a decent setup. You know. All right. So this is a nice light green. So you guys are gonna see. We'll label it as one. It's a nice light. Tinge. I don't know if you can see it too well. And then we have a very dark green. So we'll use this as like a shader here. Six. Nice. Mm -hmm. Colored that, it's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'll ask her about it. We'll talk about it. Oh god, it's, it's, it's loud. The fuck? <laughs> oh, did it not do the special little animation? Oh no. Oh, my animations are broke. Oh shit. <laughs> fuck. I had special animations set up for uh, the hydrate and the sketch request. <sighs> but we'll do a stretch. Why do it that time? I was gonna make the sketch request things a bit more like fun for people, considering that they're a little bit more expensive on the channel. You know, five thousand points and whatnot. Oh, goodness. Okay. But yeah, thank you for the stretch and thank you for the hydrate. I shall do that now. Yay. Thank you. You still have 20k? Mm. <clears throat> I love the threat of I can redeem four more. 
<laughs> just like I, I can do that, you know. I can and will do that. If my hands would actually cooperate with me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Not you, you're fine. Let's see, this is brown 11. So... That's a little darker than I want, so... And I know there's another one, this is brown 5. Ooh, that one would be nice. Okay. All right. Oh, a uh, little bit of a tip for anybody who's ever like um uh trying out markers or just playing with colors, leave yourself like a nice space up top or in the bottom section. I don't know who the fuck is calling me. But I don't know you. And that's my purse. <laughs> I'm streaming right now. Thank you very much, telemarketer. Fuck off. <laughs> Anywho, before I was interrupted by the fucking telemarketer from Tulsa, um, leave yourself some space at the top sections or the bottom sections when you're like doing a sketch page or whatever, whatever, to just do color swaps color swaps. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. Um, just to kind of like play around with them, see what you like and what you're going to use. And if you have a blender like this, um, just kind of fuck around and have fun with it. You know, Bob Ross, that stuff. Have fun with it. That's why I'm here today. I'm having fun. Do this one for the other sketch. Yeah. So, ooh, clovers. Or sandpipers. They're cute. They're very cute. Very, very cute. They are the cutest little birds around. Though I will say, I have spotted some um, scissor tails lately. And scissor tails, if you didn't know, are the state bird of Oklahoma. And oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. Because I mean, they quite literally, their tails split. And they're like these long, almost like, ta not tassels, but almost like the birds wearing a fancy coat. <laughs> they're really good for pest control in regards to like bugs and stuff. They eat mosquitoes, wasps, the whole shebang. So typically you'll find them hanging out over ponds and lakes and such. Very territorial, however. You'll probably only find one mated pair in... I don't know the mileage, honestly. But for a while. For a couple of hours around. I've seen a hummingbird once. It was a different experience. Oh, we get hummingbirds all the time here. Um, it's my, uh, we, we're going through a migratory, um, season at the moment with, uh, I forget the name of them, but I typically call them just, um, like dusties or whatever, because they're these adorable, like they are about the size of a thumb and they're these adorable little, like, uh, light brown or cream colored hummingbirds and they just, oh, they're so fucking cute. So I have a separate, um, we have a separate hummingbird feeder for them because the ruby-throated, uh, hummingbirds will basically try to murder them. <laughs> uh, at least you don't get Canadian geese year-round. Yeah, no, we don't. Thank goodness for that. I will say, um, the hawks have been unusually menacing this year. Very, very menacing. I don't know what what it is that the hawks are like, you know what, fuck humans, we're gonna scare the crap out of them. But that's how they've been this year. Thus far. I'm gonna leave some open patches here, just kind of to suggest like, oh, there's nothing filling that spot. Mm -hmm. 
it's spring and they still hear. Oh, God. Here we go. Ooh. I didn't notice that. Well, that's cool. That's a cool effect. I don't know if you can see it. The outline of the um, color pencil. Kind of, it's blending very well with the marker. Hmm. That's neat. I'll have to take pictures later. There we go. Also, um, I just noticed something else on Twitch. Uh, if you're getting coins from crowd control, we are having a long stream of Elden Ring tomorrow, so there is that. For those of you who are interested. More Elden Ring! The hunt for the Elden Wing. <laughs> yeah. There's also free coins you can get at the, um, at the beginning, so. We'll just be chilling out. I'm gonna try and make some big story <laughs> moves. Some big moves. That's right, you're going to your uh, to that wedding, aren't you? I almost said to your wedding. <laughs> your wedding! You're getting married! Holy shit! <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Save! Hmm. Here we go. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, I cannot wait to finish uh, the first Final Fantasy 13, or just 13, and move on to 2. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying 13, but um, I will admit, I... Oh, that's unusual, but okay, I'm gonna ignore it <clears throat> for now. Um, We're at a part where there's a lot of, like, farming that needs to be done, so every time I've been, like getting home after work, I'll just fire up some Final Fantasy, do a little XP farming, <laughs> and just be like, Ugh, okay, I'm gonna do an hour and that's it. I'm just gonna do an hour. And unfortunately, I did trigger, like, a story beat, but we can discuss that later. Because there's a lot of sea- I want to finish up with sea stones. I want to get the achievement for that. And I know that's very unusual because I'm not an achievement hunter, but I really want to see what happens when you complete them all. You know, I've never done that. Typically, I just farm my XP, get a few out of the way just to get to the um, Chocobos and the Sahagans. <laughs> If you ever want to know where my the term Son of a Sahagan comes from, it's from 13. And you'll see why if you join us during, or if you watch, you can rewatch them, of course. Um, if you watch the next Final Fantasy episode, which I think that's either going to be, yeah, that's going to be Monday, I believe. Yeah. Because we have Warhammer um, Sunday. My cat's trying to break in. <laughs> we have Warhammer Sunday. I'm going to be playing as Catherine. Some more Catherine. It's going to be a fairly decent episode. I hope. 
I don't know. We're dealing with the demon Azel. I think that's his name? Is that his name? I don't know. Horny guy. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, God. Because he has horns and everything, so. Horns and spikes galore. having fun with it it's just i find two and three to be more enjoyable personally mainly because the combat is a little bit smoother and you have more options of like what you can do early on that and the maps are a bit more open And I get it, it's Final Fantasy. You're not gonna have, like, a super open map, but it's it's still nice to be able to run around and, you know, just kind of enjoy the, the world that was built. What? Oh, this cat, I swear. He's like, let me in. What are you doing? You're being weird again, human. <laughs> She's being weird again, Miso. We gotta stop her. Re. Oh, I was talking about the Transformer stuff. But yeah, what I was gonna finish it off with, with uh, was I'm glad they're not really catering it towards kids and really going more for, oh yeah, animation can be for adults as well, you know. That's been an ongoing fight for the last few years. So it's nice to see that it's gonna be an animated series. Um... just for funsies, you know? I still don't like that uh, Chris Hemsworth is in there. I, I don't... I, he's not my favorite. He's a bit of a douche, I won't lie. Is it Chris Hemsworth? I think it is, yeah. Are we an Isengard? I don't know, man, are we? why he's in the Mad Max movie. Me neither. Hey, Bucky. Hello. Welcome. Good lords, it's bright over there. I don't even know. It's like dark in my room, but it's bright on screen. What the fuck? Hold on. That works. Yes! There we are. That works a little bit better. <laughs> Lady Evil has human fingers? Of course I do. Well, it appears that way, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a very odd coloration today, just because we were expecting severe thunderstorms, but 
now it's cleared up so it's like really dark outside i don't know why it's it looks brighter in here on screen but that could just be obs adding light and stuff nice new markers yeah technically they are because i haven't really used them that much aside from last stream so Eek. i like them they're enjoyable uh hold on i might use the wider edge here the wedge the wedge <laughs> all right It just has a sharper edge to it than the rounded section, so. I've never seen the hands responsible for so many deaths. Get a load of it now. Honestly, it makes me want to play Stardew Valley. <laughs> Focus! Focus! The Wedge Antilles. Some new p nice potato wedge. Mm, potatoes. I do like potatoes. Potatoes are nice. Potatoes are good. Very, very good. Very, very good. I feel like it doesn't matter if my hands are super shaky right now. For some reason they fucking are. Makes it look good. It looks good. I don't know what that notification was on my computer, but I'm going to worry about it later. Okay. Add some depth to it. There we go. I feel like that's enough. We shouldn't overblow it. Shouldn't overdo it with the... You might not be able to see it now, but... 
How are the cats doing? The cats are doing okay. Sam Cat's doing much better, but he's still kind of weak and raspy. Just a little bit. But the most important thing is he's taking his medicine and he's eating lots. I don't think anything's wrong with his liver because anytime he like uses the litter box, everything's normal. I'm just like, what? So it's got to be like an upper respiratory infection going on, but that's already being taken care of. So I don't know. But he's doing okay. Man, um, have you guys seen like Hades 2? There was a stream from developers, I forget what it's called, Supergiant, I believe, uh, yesterday, and they were showcasing obviously Hades 2. It looks so cool. <laughs> I've like, I I'm gonna be playing that as soon as it comes out, so y'all better be ready for roguelikes galore. <laughs> I see a wild Nathan. Hmm. Hades. Does creators show up? <laughs> Did they give a release window? I honestly, you know what? Let me check my wish list and see. Um, I know there's a mod that turns um, uh, Zargeras into. Didn't make sure I didn't pull my headphones out. Zargeras into kratos but it's not full it's not it's very well done but it's mostly for art the art icons or little sprites i guess you call them i don't know what they call them aside from that hades where are you come on silk song when are you coming out um, at least from here, it looks like it's still to be announced. Yeah. Oh, uh, they do have the playtest available. I might actually do that. I'll see if I'm allowed to stream it. Would you guys like that? If I could, you know, I don't, I don't know if it would be allowed to. Who knows? But just get like a short little... Opposed to domestic Nate or feral Nathaniel. <laughs> Huh. That'd be pretty cool, though. I hear a crow getting screamed at by a blue jay. <laughs> a very common occurrence here. Yeah, Hades too. It looks good. The art style has definitely improved. I, I I enjoy it, but I know a certain I know a certain somebody, a certain tired otter, is gonna be like, 
actually <laughs> actually i think this is degenerate mm. actually <laughs> and i adore him more for it just because he's just i don't know it's funny to me Oh dear. <laughs> Y'all trying to mess make domesticate me or what? No. Yeah. I just know that sometimes some people don't really care for the games that I play occasionally, so it's like hmm. I try to leave it up to a general consensus and then I just do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I acknowledge what the council has voted, and I have elected to ignore it. <laughs> oh, gods. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I should not have my knee sitting that way, because that's how you fuck it up. Gravel or no gravel. Okay, I think I think this is done. I think I've given it enough flare or whatever you want to call it. Blech. Time to move on to another sketch. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Some more trees. Lots of trees. Um, let's see. Ooh, that one's a pretty one. Big old oak tree. Hmm. Ooh, that's really pretty. That could be cool. Don't know what kind it is, though. Rodinodron. I thought that was some kind of poison. Some kind of poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> oh, God. Oh wow, it's a flowering tree. Hmm. Ah yeah, sure. Why don't we add a pop of color to this? Do I actually have... No, I don't. <laughs> Do I have that? No, I don't. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Well then, that's okay. I mean, I guess I could go with the red, but the red is going to be like... A very extravagant. Extravagant, she says. Ooh. <sighs> Wait, what? Cusco's dead, right? Tell me Cusco's dead. I need to hear these words. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> He's dead. Meh. Trying to look for something and then it just shows me like articles and articles and I'm like, why are there articles in Google's images? I just want to look at trees. My dude. Alright, let's go for... Did I use this one? I don't know. I don't think I did. Hold on. Oh no, that's a nice, that's a nice, like, light color.
It's a very odd and blocky tree, but it's good. right on ahead to the markers because markers are fun i feel like a little kid <laughs> just like markers <laughs> oh. yeah never take me into an art supply store that'll ramp the budget up real quick even though i'm extremely frugal Today is Thursday, which means it's Ladies' Night at Stoney's, which is my closest country bar. Meaning, no cover charge when you get your first drink free. I don't drink, though. <laughs> and even if I did, I wouldn't go to a bar. It just seemed- that's just- yeah, no. Especially not on a specials night. That's awful. Oh my god, it's how crowded it's gonna be. I kind of like to make these little circular motions whenever I'm uh, using the markers or stuff like that, just to kind of give a bit of texture. Because I made it blocky, yes, but we don't want it to look blocky. And then I leave some spots in between just to be like, hey, there's nothing in there. Leaves, yes, but other than that, nah. And I might come back through because I didn't do what I did over here, which was add little, like, um... I don't know what to call those. I just added little lines inside of it. So I'll come back through and make some more when we're done with the marker. But everything here is connected, so... It's not entirely necessary. It just looks good. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna kind of switch over to there. Potatoes do sound wonderful right now, especially like get some, you know, homemade fries and honey mustard. Ugh. The brain likes the sound of that. Mmm. There is this really nice sports bar, and it's the only time I've really gone into a bar and been like, ah, oh, yes, I don't mind this place. But primarily because it was a weekend and early in the morning, and they it's not just a bar, but it's a like little restaurant off base. <laughs> it's an off base restaurant in Oklahoma City. Um And yes, while they do serve alcohol and they have like all that fun stuff for people who do that there, uh, they have amazing, like, these amazing burgers. <laughs> In my opinion, they're fantastic. And you get the choice of um, having sweet potato fries instead of like regular, you know, regular potato fries, whatever you like, russet fries or like whatever you want to call it. The russet potatoes are nice. Classical. Hey, Remy. Of course, the American is talking about burgers. I'm talking about potatoes, primarily. They do have a breakfast burger, which has bacon and eggs and onions and stuff in it. Um, it's really good. 
but they have sweet potato fries and those things are fucking amazing. Also, there's a train. But hey, Remy, how you doing? How's it going? Aren't you supposed to be in school or like sleeping at this point? <laughs> Alright. First three. <laughs> the train. Yeah, oh, uh, one loud fucking train. My God, I can hear it over the music. Whew. Yeah, they're trying to get these trains through quick before um, the storms hit later tonight. Hopefully, it isn't as bad as it was Monday night. Our power went out for the entire night, and we didn't even get tornadoes or anything. It was just strong winds. That was it. I don't even know what to call it at that point. It's just... Uh, you have a history test tomorrow? Ooh. It's 7.53 p.m. for me. Damn. Alright. Well, that's not too bad. The brain is in your brain or teapot, Tom? I mean, you can have the drink and I don't dance. That's just weird. Dancing is weird. Just to me, personally. That's my opinion. Yeah. I would uh, totally skip that event. Uh, <laughs> Nathan, I am like, nope. It's too much. I need to get back into playing um, Zero Dawn Horizon again. We haven't finished that yet, and I need to before I start the new game. Forbidden West. <clears throat> On Monday, there was a lightning storm that passed right over my city. Brushing my teeth and then a lightning streak happened in front of the house and the entire bathroom lit up for a split second. It was so cool. Oof. <laughs> yeah, lightning storms can be really... Oh, God. The one thing I'm going to miss about Oklahoma is summer thunderstorms. They are... They're incredibly special out here. Especially um, where I live, because I live in a kind of weird basin. A valley, whatever you want to call it. And typically, the storms come from the west. And I live on the far east side of the town. So what will happen is <laughs> the wind will hit first and then you just turn like you turn towards the west and all you see is this like wall of darkness and occasionally like lightning strikes and it looks amazing. Especially now with the trees being as um, we're going through, we're transitioning from spring trees into summer trees. So we started out with this beautiful bright green into like this nice rich green now. I don't know how else to describe it. I'll take pictures before I leave, but you know. It, it, Oklahoma does have some beauty to it. It does. Especially during fall. It's gorgeous with all the trees and everything. People would leave them the fuck alone. Oh yes, let's cut some more trees because I don't really care for them. <laughs> then gets his shed destroyed because... <laughs> He's a fucking dumbass. Anywho. <clears throat> Nobody heard anything that I just said. Everything's fine. I got a list. Yeah, that's good for you, isn't it? No. 
Yeah, I just don't like that kind of stuff. It's, I don't know, it's too much. It's way too much stuff going on there. Try and leave a gap right there. <laughs> you totally weren't recording that speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? What are you talking about? What speech? I, I don't know what you guys are on about. It's unusual. There's a speech? Oh, boring. <laughs> like line dancing and dancing in general. How boring. <laughs> oh, jeez. Great. Oh, at least you guys can't hear that. <laughs> Crackheads. <laughs> All right. Well, my history test about the French Revolution. <laughs> Which one? Because there's several. <laughs> <laughs> the shit that did with the Netherlands and the Declaration of Independence. Oh, lovely. I am unable to help you then because I am not familiar with that segment of French history. And Netherlands history, for that matter. <laughs> Just like, which one? There's been multiple. There have been multiple. <laughs> the one that started the head chopping saga. Ah, lovely. The guillotines. Love them. Honestly, we should bring that back, you know, just when somebody starts acting up and doing dumb shit, you know, messing with human rights and whatnot, just park a guillotine outside their lawn and be like. Oh, we're not doing anything with it. We're just leaving it out here as a reminder. Get your shit in order. <laughs> Embrace that part of American heritage. <laughs> oh, gods. Really? We seem a lot of uh, folks have forgotten their roots there. I actually think that's legal. Is it? Oh, damn. I wish. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I might have to look into this further. Though it's not really my heritage. I don't know if. Well, not necessarily, but I could borrow it. <laughs> the, the 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 homicide might not be, but I think just having one out in the lawn as a decoration isn't bad. Just get a little one. Just a tiny one. <laughs> How's work been treating you? Uh, it's interesting just because work, a lot of work drama, a lot of, a lot of bullshit going on and things that could have been avoided, but no. Unnecessary conflict in my you know, in my mind, but what do I know? It's just... <laughs> I just can't wait to see this. I'm, I'm sorry, a little tangent here. I work with, um, for those of you who don't know, I work at a, a, a clinic. And it's like, 
the primary nurse practitioner we have there, because we have another nurse practitioner who's a little older. I didn't know it, but she used to work as a end of life um, practitioner, which means basically she would take care of people in a nursing home and be like, oh yeah, here's some medication to help you sleep or basically dealing with people who are on death's door. And she's used to diagnosing people within that realm. So, but me and her don't necessarily get along too well. I, I do not. I don't like how she treats people. I, I don't think it's appropriate. And she brings her politics and religion into medicine, which I'm a firm like believer of. Like the medicine, religion and politics have no place in medicine. It, time and time again, we have been shown over history that is a horrible idea and it should be removed. So keep it to your fucking self. When you're, when you put that badge on, keep it to your fucking self. You know, and I really think people should be fired for that kind of shit. But that's just me. Anywho, um, the nurse practitioner, the doctor, is her father, and she's been relying on him to do her job for past, like, six, eight years now. And recently, she decided she didn't like our new practitioner, which, I mean, I understand, but also the reason why she doesn't like the new practitioner is because she's tried to shunt some of her patients that she deemed as overly complicated. And by overly complicated, I mean they have, like, the flu or they need a shot and she just doesn't want to fucking deal with them today. So she'll try and shunt those patients off onto the new practitioner and the new practitioner is like, no, I'm only seeing 12 to 14 people a day. That's it. You're trying to put like upwards to 20 to 25 on my plate and I can't deal with that. That's not part of my contract. So recently she tried to get the practitioner in trouble via saying, I, it's a very convoluted situation, but part of like the practice is we have to keep records of all medical procedures and all prescriptions for legal reasons. And supposedly bitch practitioner turned around and said, oh yeah, um, you know, go to the other practitioner and she's going to have this document for you and we're going to do the, uh, prescribe this and this and this. And now it's a big debacle because she basically threw the new practitioner under the bus by giving out false information, which she is liable for now. It means she can get in some serious legal trouble with the patient. Oh, it's Paul. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. This is going to sound dumb, but does Lithuania have any heritage or would it just be generic Soviet stuff now? There is heritage before the Soviet invasion. It's just a lot of it. Um has been unfortunately destroyed by the Soviet uh, Union when they invaded several times. But I mean, <laughs> this is gonna sound silly. The reason why I like trees so much too. Um, there are these fun places in Lithuania. They're old villages and I don't think a lot of people live there anymore or if at all, but they used to build um, little places of worship around trees. I always think they're, you can look them up on Google. They're super cool and so pretty. Oh, it's politics and religion for a second. I thought she really didn't care if a person died because it's common for her. Oh, it is common for her. She doesn't care. Like, there's an obvious like, oh no, well, that's unfortunate. And here's some options for like grieving and stuff, but no. It, it, she... Gods forbid a gay couple walks in. This woman will have a conniption fit. And I do not fucking understand it. It's like... Are they imposing something on you? Are they being belligerent or derogatory towards you? No? Then shut the fuck up and do your job. They're not messing with you. You're being a bitch for no reason. <laughs> if you really have a problem with, like, couples coming in and they're gay or they're mixed, then get out of the business. Just leave. <laughs> it's like, people are fucking people. Come on. So that's how, like, uh, spoiled kids act when they grow up. Yeah, and she is a, like, the nurse practitioner is a spoiled little brat, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait for her to get into some fucking legal trouble because of this shit. 
I, I can't wait because she's gonna lose every and I know this is really <laughs> I know some people would be like evil that's mean she has it coming <laughs> There's a reason her nickname is Bitch Practitioner. The practitioner of bitchdom. <laughs> oh, God. The practitioner of bitchdom. And y'all are y'all can feel free to use that if you would like. <laughs> that title is open. Wait, I don't like either of them. If you can't tell already. <laughs> and yes, I'm very harsh when it comes to medical stuff. It's like either you do your job or you don't. And I am going to judge you on how you treat patients. Very much so. Especially if they're being super, super chill and honest about things. And you decide to take up a personal dislike of them due to their home life if they are like kind of uh, what you would consider an unusual relationship it's none of your fucking business gonna leave some gaps here it just pisses me off man because i see it so much and i thought we'd be way ahead of ourselves like just people in general i thought would be better you know, because it's like, uh, uh, come on. Anywho, I'm moving on from that. There. Oh, in regards to like the Lithuanian thing, um, there is still amber catching or fishing. Is it fishing or catch? I don't know. Basically, you go along the um, shore of the Baltic Sea and you just have like, um, have you ever seen a... Uh, um, not gold digging gold panning if you've ever seen like uh people gold panning before it's very similar where they just go and uh they have like these weird contraptions um people use them to clean up beaches of nails and glass and things but same principle they go through they clean it up and they just go through the stuff that they collect and they find amber that's washed up on shore and sometimes you get like these little tiny pieces or these huge chunks and I've always wanted to do that. That's like on my bucket list. Because I want to go one day. Go check it out and check out the old family farm and stuff. I just think trees are cool. Am I using the right one? Five. Okay, good. Baltic amber isn't mined? No! At least I don't believe in that section it is hmm. let me use a dark color i don't believe it is no oh, that's not gonna work okay note to self do that before you use the marker i'm back from taking a nap that was a quick nap what's going on oh we're just talking about random stuff every story links back to you saying that you like trees <laughs> <laughs> yeah it does trees are nice trees are cool man okay they don't judge people <laughs> they're just trees they're vibing it up they're survive they're like they got their own thing going on they can give a shit <laughs> guillotines trees bitch practitioner trees 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 <laughs> Oh god, yay, trees. Okay. I'm just gonna add little things here. But yeah. 
lots of work drama. Trees be more vicious than we are. I mean, yeah, if you take a look at like um, larger forests and how, you know, saplings are absolutely annihilated simply because, uh, you know, older trees just completely cut off light source to them. They are vicious in that aspect. I can, yeah, I concur. I concur, my good friend. The fucker. Some species kill each other. Oh, yeah. And there is such a thing as walking trees. Uh, it's very peculiar. Those are those guys are fascinating and terrifying at the same time. <laughs> you know, have you ever seen those before? Also, my mom wants to go to New York this summer vacation because my dad has already chose a two-week vacation. My mom rushed in and now I'm going to go on a two-week vacation to New York. But what the fuck am I going to do after the first week? You can see all the cool New York shit in a week. Yeah. I don't know too much about New York other than it's super crowded and noisy and just... Mm. Other species are helpful and would help others from their species through their roots. Yeah, like birch and aspens. Now those guys, those guys are very peculiar because they share um, a root network with each other. At least the aspens that I know of. Birch or do they? I don't know why I thought birch for a moment. But aspens, it's like one giant being essentially. I know they share like one if I think the general idea is if you see a grove of aspens, it means that there's um water nearby, especially fresh water. So yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> Pando? The world's largest organism? Hmm. I wonder what the theological... Theo theoretical largest... Aspen. Hmm. Uh, 5.5 kilometers across. Damn! There's a big boy. At least I believe so. Yeah, my fingers can't get a good grip. I kind of like how the, this darker green ends in. It's very soft. It's very subtle. I mean, it pops now, but you know. I don't know what I hate about trees. When you have that big, that old big tree, you always want to pass. You always pass, but then that one worm species with those irritating hairs invade it, and now you can't go under it. Ooh. Yeah. You gotta be careful, um, especially in the south of America. 
or you know united states the south of the united states uh, a lot of trees especially fruit trees and pecan trees have ticks on them even though <laughs> <laughs> they're really fun to climb as a kid but they have ticks and just ooh, beware if any are near water the leech galore ugh, i've always been terrified of leeches i've never had a leech before but i i am mm, yeah no they're disgusting and gross and scary and i'm just like no i'm not chancing it and i lived in florida i'm surprised I used to walk around in swamp water all the fucking time and be like, ooh, gator, <laughs> come here. <laughs> but you're right about birch. They do send nutrients to other trees. Uh -huh. So I was right. Yay. Yippee. Fir trees is another. Hmm. Aren't fir trees an evergreen? Ticks climb trees? No, I mean, sort of. You can find them on trees and, like, wild uh i almost said wild plants of course plants are wild what the fuck wild corn and wheat and stuff and you know all that fun stuff uh if you are ever out hiking and there is um like private property nearby and they label an area as hunting grounds never go through there because let me tell you it's tick galore average florida resident Ooh, gator i'm a pet it. exactly <laughs> even i with all of my wisdom i'm an avid fan of gators just because they're so cool i mean they're base they're swamp puppies okay they're really neat what about those medical leeches i don't think that's a thing anymore fur is an evergreen okay so i'm remembering things correctly then Sorry, I'm just focusing on this for a moment. <sighs> Man, that just, uh, God, that just reminded me of something, Bucky. Um, a book I still have, and it's about the Siege of Troy, and one of the kings fell sick after sustaining a grievous wound and in order to clean out the wound uh, this guy takes a bunch of leeches and puts it in his armpit like puts the leeches in the king's armpit because that's where the wound is and it is the grossest fucking scene out of the entire book and i just i remember reading that as a teenager and being like <laughs> not many things make me feel that way but that's it <laughs> <laughs> Why do people call alligators swamp puppies when dwarf camions exist? Because camions are in a different country, okay? And, and, and we have to make do. That and gators are actually very function. Like, if you hang out with them and if you, like, you know, are super chill and all that stuff, you can kind of sort of have a alliance i guess you could say you can sort of kind of tame gators camion like the little the little dudes with the big eyes very narrow snout is that how you say it camion i don't know how to say it other than that don't make fun of me <laughs> re They are miniature swamp puppies. Well, Amazon puppies, I guess you could say. Ew. Yeah, it, it, the leech scene was gross in that book. And yeah. Cayman. Okay, Cayman. Got it.
there's been grosser scenes and other things in films and books. I still can't watch that one section of The Martian. I think it's a good movie. The Martian is a really good movie. I think it's with Matt Damien. Damien Matt? I don't know his name. The one where, uh, it, it's, some people might not get this, where they finally get in contact with the guy who's stuck on Mars and they're like, oh yeah, this video call is live to all of Earth because we want people to know that you're alive and this isn't a hoax. And he goes, oh, everybody can hear me? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that one. Sorry, there's people. There was people. I was intrigued. In the Netherlands, you can be walking through a beautiful park and then you suddenly see a sign with a gate blocking you saying military shooting practice area, do not cross. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cayman is from Central and South America, not a native species here in the US. So our swamp puppies are alligators and crocs. Indeed. But there's another tree. Another tree. Goodness, it's almost five or um one thirty. <sighs> oh, let's see. I want to do one with a bit more color. No gate block. Oh, no gate. No gate whatsoever. You just walk in. Oh fuck. That's that's kind of. Oh, oh no. No, that's not good. That's no bueno. Ah, it's kind of, kind of scary. Hmm. All right, let me get some different colors out. Kind of diversify. Diversify. A big ass container of. <laughs> Things that I need to organize, but I can't because my cats every time I swear every time I organize this fucking thing because I'm very color-coded <laughs> Every time my cats find this I swear it's like a radar of like oh she's cleaning her colors and They need to knock it over Um, We can do a light orange or we could do Just a regular I'm gonna do a light orange Nicer. It's nicer, okay. I like it. It's good. Sure, blame the cats. I am blaming the cats. That's exactly what I did. Which fun fact. US have crocs. Yeah, we do. It's very unusual, but we do. We're gonna be using these two. So let's do a little color swatch of them. Um, this is four. Okay. And this is yellow 11. This is track 11. Okay. It's a very light color. Hmm. So are there any games that you guys are excited about coming out here soon? Because there's a few. Um, Rika is going to be announced soon, hopefully. Hopefully they don't delay it. Who the fuck knows about um, 
if uh, the next Hollow Knight Silk Song is coming out. No idea if that's ever going to be a thing. No clue. I don't know why I made this so big, but you know what? I'm dealing with it. I'm gonna deal with it. As I do. <clears throat> uh, would you rather more money spent on a wonderful kitchen or an epic bedroom? Kitchen. To be honest, I like... <laughs> I am very fond of German kitchens, I won't lie, because let me tell you something, efficiency is sexy. <laughs> and that's is some, that is something I live by, especially with kitchens. I love the way they have, like, their ca their cabinets are just amazing. You know, they and especially like the spice racks and everything. Uh, anywho. The Thrones of Decay DLC. Tamara Khan is one of my favorite from the lore. There's still hundreds of older, older games I've been meaning to play. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to, like, Rika and then Hades 2. I'm trying to think. There was something else I've been keeping an eye on. I don't remember. On a German kitchen? You've never seen a German kitchen before? Oh my gosh. Look it up on Google. Um, so they used to... <laughs> Basically, German kitchens, just household, like, houses in, like, the UK and throughout this, uh, Europe are made with the idea of housing only, like, a small family or a few people. So they're very tiny. They're extremely strange. At least if you're American and you've never seen those kinds of houses, they're extremely strange because they're tiny. They're tiny homes. But they're incredibly efficient. Efficient storage, utilities, this, that, and the other. And I, I, a part of my brain is like, oh yes, this, this is something I can live with because I'm gonna be honest, I don't really, like, if I had a big family that I actually gave a fuck about, then yes, I would like a big kitchen. Otherwise, a decently sized kitchen, like the one I have right now, if it had a better storage, I would enjoy it more. Fun fact, the Netherlands, a country which size is between Maryland and West Virginia, has a total GDP... GDP? I'm unfamiliar with that terminology. Of 1 trillion euro. Now, um... Like, where, 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 where does the money come from, though? I've probably seen one because remember Vegas is full of rich folk. Yeah, you should you know a lot about that, don't you? Oh, um, unique houses, but to me a kitchen is a kitchen. German kitchen special interest brain rot. <laughs> and now I can go into a two hour discussion about it. No, I can't. I just like the way they look and I like the efficient storage. I like efficiency, okay? I've noticed that term being used a lot, like brain rot this, brain rot that. That's fine. I've just seen a lot of things on it. Lots of things on it. Yeah, German kitchens. They're nice. Very nice. Um, but no. Like, I, I just... I don't need a big place. I do, I do like the idea of lots of acreage simply because I don't like neighbors. I don't like having neighbors. Neighbors are annoying to me. Every time I've had a neighbor, it's just it, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like living around people. <laughs> I think it's it's just oh I I really just don't like being around people. 
I wouldn't even want to live near or by my brother. My gods. And not just because we're siblings, just because I think that shit would be so fucking annoying. <laughs> no hate to my brother, of course. I would do perfectly fine by myself. One point three trillion dollars GD GDP is net worth of a country. Okay, and one trillion makes it in the tiniest country ever to hit one trillion. The second most tiny country to hit one trillion or total. Euro is Australia with a population of 22 mil. Ooh, Australia is... Uh, oof, let me tell you. It should be happening over there that makes America look good. <laughs> like, oh, damn. Alright. We're on the same page then. Fuck. That's not a good thing. Yep. Ah! Sorry, chat. Didn't mean to do that to you. I didn't mean to smack you. I feel like it's mostly used by LGBT Tumblr. Oh no, it's all over TikTok, man. Perfectly living next to a sibling is asking for trouble. <laughs> but living next to anybody is asking for trouble. At least in my opinion, because it's just, I don't like neighbors. Every time I've had a neighbor, they've always been a fucking nuisance. Whether it's well-meaning or not, they've just been super annoying. I could just live in the middle of nowhere and not have to deal with neighbors being like, Hey, I'm going to come over here and initiate a conversation that has no purpose whatsoever. And uh, I fully expect you to engage in it or else I'm going to be a dick for the entire time you live next to me. I, I, yeah, no. Nope. What's happening in Australia? Ooh, lots of political fights. Um... <laughs> Do you know who Friendly Jordy is? I'm not gonna get too much into it, but... Some of the shit that's happened to him just because he's been like, oh yeah, this politician posted this and they're getting ready to sign this bill that actually takes a lot of your rights away. Um, so maybe don't vote for them next time, you know, because they have this on the record. He got his house firebombed. Well, his house was firebombed. It's not like he paid somebody to do it because that's dumb. But his house was firebombed because he reported on this one guy who's a real just he's a real he's a fucking nuisance to everyone um sounds like a witcher character <laughs> friendly jordies <laughs> does living next to a cemetery affect uh house value i don't know i honestly don't know hmm. that's a good question oh god friendly jordies yeah I know a lot of people don't like him because he's very blunt and he cracks a lot of jokes. But, I mean, it makes the reporting funnier, at least in my opinion. Some things I don't agree with, but he does his job fairly well. Yeah, but uh, he reported on this absolute douchebag of a politician and all of a sudden... His house is firebombed. And then his neighbor's house, I think it was broken into, and then they, somebody attempted to firebomb his neighbor's house, but it didn't work out too well. It 
And it's ironic because they're like, oh, well, we can't link this to that politician, even though it happened directly after that politician, you know, may or may not have called for violence against this particular journalist. So we can't confirm, which is utter bullshit, in my opinion, because it's like, I'm sorry, there is direct correlation here. But you know what? Whatever. He has been in a constant legal, emotional, physical fight for two years and then tried to break into an American spy base in Australia. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> an American spy base. That sounds amazing. That is something. Search up the YouTube channel Boy Boy. Boy Boy? I'm gonna do it. We're doing this live. We're doing this shit live. Hold on. I'm looking Boy Boy up. I'm gonna type in exactly what you said, too. No Facebook. Fuck off, Facebook. Okay. Boy Boy. Uh. American spy let's see if that works we snuck into a cia base in the aussie outback what the fuck? <laughs> what is this what is happening just to be clear this is all alexi's idea Is actively threatening him as some 4D chess shit. The hell? Why did you enter the base? Your honor, my lawyer advised me to fucking send it. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds incredible. Okay, I might have to watch that later just because it's fucking funny. With the serious face that they're making of like, we broke into the CIA base. <laughs> oh, God. He tried to break into Pine Gap, kicked the football over the fence and tried to get it back. The football is now on Google Maps. Awesome. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I will say, Americans don't play around when it comes to bases, though. <laughs> it's just with no chill. We have no chill. None whatsoever. It's just, it's something. Yeah. Is this a good yellow? Yes, it is. <laughs> Lemon. All right. Just because it's on the uh, orange there, so the blending is going to be a little strange. Americans have no chill, and then sometimes we have too much chill, and it's like, really? Really? Oh man, I'm gonna send a picture in Discord oh, God, of the football? Football! <laughs> oh man. The football that is now forever on the other side of the down under. <laughs> it will never be reclaimed. That's something I find very annoying living in this town because it's very um, common. Uh, just 
it's you sent a picture okay it, it, it's a cultural thing um back in florida like florida to north carolina and in between um it is very commonplace and very normalized to have curtains and shutters well both actually you or not shutters um are they called shutters the thing it's it's like little slats and they kind of roll up there's two strings you can either open them a little bit or close them and then the other string just goes up and down i don't know what it's called i just call them shutters <laughs> i don't know the actual name of it um but it's very commonplace to have both shutters and then curtains Blinds, thank you. <laughs> I could not for the life of me think of it. Just like ah, that thing. But I'll describe it. Hold on, I'm gonna check it out. In Discord. In the Discord. Pine Gap Boy Boy Scooter Ball. Wow. That is pretty close. Nice. Good for him. Then just to make sure they had footage of the American took away their cameras of the two guys that came with Jordy, held an SD card in his cheeks. <laughs> the SD card in his cheeks. Lovely. All the shutters in G are glued open on the outside. What? They are, are they? A few places I've been in Georgia and Alabama, they've, um... Now, granted, I didn't... Alabama was only for, like, a week stay to just check out some stuff. <sighs> but where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. I'm just using a reference here and be like, oh, yes, tree shape. How do that? How do we do that? That gives me an idea of where to put gaps and things. But Everybody had curtains and blinds and things like that. And it's very commonplace there. But Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas, I have found that people don't have either. Straight up, they don't. Like, their windows are all fucking open. You can see everything. And if you want to block the light or view, you throw a towel up over things. My house is the only house <laughs> for several blocks that has curtains. <laughs> we have one window that has a blind, mainly because they don't sell blinds here. Like, my mom wanted to get more blinds, but we couldn't get any in town. And we tried to order some, however, that's a pain in the ass because the time that we did order them, they were the wrong size, even though we were like, hey, we need X, Y, and Z size, and we measured everything, but they fucked it up. <laughs> So it's like, okay, well then. Alrighty. But we're like the only house with curtains. And it's very commonplace for people to slow down and look into your house. And it annoys the ever-loving fuck out of me. Just like, I'm sorry. Can you kindly move the fuck along with your day? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't your place. Go on, get. Because the first thing that pops in my head is like, you are not casing my house. No, 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 no. Keep moving. If you want to talk about something, you can you, you can knock on the door like a normal civilized person. Don't just stand there and be like, what's in your house? You fucking weirdo. And this is commonplace here. It's just, it's stupid. I don't understand. And it's a cultural thing. I, I I get that, but it's the dumbest cultural deal I've ever seen. Um, Jordy eventually came across a sign saying that he could not take pictures or video past a point, so he recorded the audio of him gaslighting the gate operator with the others and paid someone to animate it. Legends. Absolute legends, indeed. I mean, technically, he did not record video. It, it, they didn't say, they didn't specify what he couldn't do in regards to audio.
<laughs> but yeah. Jordy is a funny dude. Train. Hmm. Tis be a train. Also, uh, while he was in a small town next to the base, he was testing how much money he can put into a slot machine. Oh, yeah, that stuff. He's because <laughs> the gambling apparently is outrageous. Um, and then take it out without gambling any of it while wearing a shirt that's saying I love money laundering. Yeah, because there's a huge there's a shit ton of casinos there. Train. And. They're covers for, uh, money laundering. Schemes. <laughs> the train was just like, I'm gonna honk at every word you say. Yonk. No, it's just a loud bitch, but... I digress. <laughs> but I digress. How do you sleep with trains? It's just white noise after a while. The only times I really wake up are when they stop the trains and there's police outside, so it's like, ooh, get the popcorn. <laughs> get the popcorn and make some coffee! There's a show going on. Just literally, it becomes background noise to me at a certain point. The only times I really worry about it are when I'm going to work and during streams, because it's loud as fuck. No, I mean, he had 5k in bills that he put into a slot machine and then immediately cashed in the money. A popular tactic for money launderers and doing all that while wearing that shirt. Damn. Mm. Wait, what does that mean? Why are the police involved? Um, sometimes I'll have people jump on trains, uh, just to, like, cross. It, it's really weird. They have rules in regards to, um... Like, you're not allowed to jump on the train and go to another city on a cargo train. And a lot of it's in protest because a very long time ago, Amtrak decided- well, Amtrak was kicked out of the state simply because 
like the fucking governor didn't want that because oh my gosh affordable transportation can't have that and that's why nobody fucking likes states but anywho um <clears throat> <laughs> Nobody fucking likes him because he's a douchebag. But so to protest that people would just jump on the train. So you, if the conductor or anybody saw that, they would be like, oh, yeah, just call into like the local train station and tell them to stop. And they're going to do a search of the train. And they do that quite frequently. Or if there's suspicion that people might be on the train. And then there's the people who are just avoiding their... um like their warrants for arrest by hopping on the train and trying to skip over to another state. So, yeah. Which Amtrak has a deal now in Oklahoma, so they will be coming back, which will be nice. I don't know if I'll still be here for that, but it'd be cool. They do still have some old stations, but they're in dis like disrepair. Is that how you say it? They're in need of repair. Serious need of repair. It'd be nice to see, like, a, a, a little train station that you can just go up to and buy a ticket and, you know, chill out and there's the tracks right there and you can watch them go and, you know, it'd be cool. I think it's cool. There's no Amtrak in Oklahoma. They do pass through here, but it's only one rail and they don't stop. Like, it is just, as soon as you hit the border of Oklahoma, you just keep going. There is no stopping, unless it's an emergency, which we've had that happen a few times. We have had, like, Amtrak's uh, take this particular rail because they're breaking down, and it's, Fuck you, I want affordable travel! <laughs> Jumps on the train during it, starting a 20-minute action scene of him slowly walking to the front. <laughs> yeah, it actually does happen! <sighs> Thank you for the good soup. And then there are times when, you know, they accidentally, um, that there's another hydrate, I imagine. <laughs> what is that? No? Why is it going for random things? I don't know. Weird. The good soup. But there are times... Now this happens more frequently than people being arrested on the trains. Um, wild animals <laughs> jumping on the trains because somebody left their food uh, in one of the cargo holds. So if they stop at one of the drop offs and, you know, they hear a coyote in one of the holds, they'll just be like, uh, what the fuck do we do now? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that happens quite a bit. But no, it's weird out here. Like, why would you take the Amtrak away? We did have, um, at least in this town, you can see the remnants of a trolley. Uh, or a tram, I guess some people call it. I call it a, we call it a trolley for whatever reason. That's what I know it as. But they took that down and destroyed the, um, the line for it. For some fucking reason. They do have it still in, um, Fort Smith, which those things are cool. They're more for tourists rather than actually traveling through the city, but, you know. Now, in Oklahoma City, they have one that's both for tourists and for workers. So you get a little pass that's like, hey, you know, I'm going to be using this for the entire year. I just need to get from point A to point B. And, you know, it's like five dollars a year. It's really cheap. I almost considered living in OKC for a while. Just be like, oh, yes. You know, it is a city, but it has a weird small town vibe. Even though there's thousands upon thousands of people living there. Everybody's just... And the culture is so different. Yes, small town vibe, but it's not like you're able to know everyone. There's still... 
just so many different people. And yes, it's crowded, but they're polite in a weird way. <laughs> it reminds me of North Carolina in a weird way of the Southern hospitality versus Midwestern. I almost hesitate to call uh, the people of Oklahoma City Midwesterners just because of it. So it's a very strange conundrum. Very strange. Oh, it's almost two o'clock. We have time. But I know it has its downsides because, I mean, the airbase is right there, so. It's, like I said, loud. And some parts of it are treated more as a college town than as a regular city. Don't even get me started on fucking Tulsa. Oh my god. Tulsa sucks, man. It just does. Muskogee isn't much better. Oh god. It's almost 9 p.m. and I need to learn history. See y'all, and tell me in Discord what you think of the video. My favorite parts are when they casually tell you that they are gonna do shit that gives them a high chance of getting shot. <laughs> I shall. I shall inform you of it. I shall inform you. Okay. the most annoying thing and i just i just remembered this from way back when um so before i moved to oklahoma my mom had been researching and looking at places for like oh yeah you know what are some things you can do in oklahoma and the oklahoma travel agency here has put a lot of effort into making obviously these pamphlets and commercials and ads and everything of being like oh yeah fun things for the entire family or just your kids to do in oklahoma and there's a lot of cool things but the problem is um those things are only available on the northern border and typically they're run by a kansas company <laughs> so technically it's not an Oklahoma thing it's a Kansas thing which is the dumbest shit ever and we learned that after a few months of living here and we had visited like Oklahoma City and Tulsa and Muskogee and we're just like huh that's weird did they shut it down and no it's like oh they filmed all this stuff in Kansas, or right on the border of it. Interesting. Now, Oklahoma does have a few, like, places you can go hiking, technically, and kayaking, but they're extremely small and um, regulated. And not because, oh, it's a nature preserve. It's more like, oh, well, we're going to charge you more to go over here. It's like they want tourists, but they don't. Mm. 
I'll take the orange marker and kind of make some marks in here. Nope, I don't like that. It's taking me forever to get this one done, mainly because I just made it too big, but that's okay. It is nice just to just sit back and color something for a bit. I don't know. It appeases that section of my brain. Just like, ah oh, yes, this is this is good. This is very good. Because I don't do this very often. Typically I do a lot of uh like pose and action studies and architecture and stuff, so. Hmm. Very boring things that I typically don't add color to just because I'm not super confident in it. There we go. The plan is working. I can't think of one reason to go visit Oklahoma. Exactly. And then they bitch and moan like, Oh, we're not making any money. Therefore, we must raise taxes in the small towns. Mm. And oh, well, those small towns aren't making that much money from the businesses. So we're going to close those down. Well, how are you going <laughs> to? It's a weird situation. Oh shit, why am I doing this first? I don't know. I need to add the shaders. First and foremost, you need to add your fucking shades, you dipshit. Meh. You know what I kind of want to play? Firewatch. Because they have some really neat backgrounds with trees and everything. Like, I think it's all watercolor rather than blender models, which I always find that to be fun when somebody goes, no, I painted that background. And we just add a skybox or a randomized skybox to make it look good. Well, not just good, but you know, to trick the eye into thinking that it's different every time. Um, do you already have it? No, I don't. <laughs> it's It's been out for a few years, though. It's, um, quite a sad game, to be honest. That's something you have to be, like, emotionally prepared for. As fun as it is to just kind of wander around and enjoy the scenery. There's some aggravating, like, relationship sections of it that I'm just like, I could do without. <sighs> I also need to continue my vanilla, um, Stardew Valley playthrough in here. And show you guys all the new stuff. I I've been playing a lot of it in my free time. On my personal file. And my gods. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a, like another Friday off and we'll do that, but... Hmm. But tomorrow should be interesting, because we're playing Elden Ring for most of the day. I thought about like doing an evening stream with it, but I don't know. I'm getting kind of... I'm getting used to streaming during the uh, daytime. Moreover, now when we do our um, because we're almost done, <laughs> like how far, uh, how far away are we with the um, community challenge here? 
we're at 82%. So once that's done and we... I have a time and date for you guys. It's definitely going to be... Um, more than likely on a Friday, but at night, because that's just easier for me. <laughs> or Friday? Yeah, so I can work that Friday and then, you know, come home and stream. I don't know why my brain was like, are you sure? Some Friday, at some point, with Minecraft, controlled by you, the viewers, ooh. So you can torment me for 10 hours. <laughs> Yay! Torture! <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Because Minecraft is fun in its own way. And I don't mind playing it for an extended amount of time. And like Baldur's Gate, I got so burnt out by that stream. <laughs> I won't lie. Now I'll add the uh, the other stuff because I feel like that's good enough. It looks good, at least to me. I know it's kind of wonky for you guys because you're at an angle. Sinus is dead. I'm always nervous because I don't know how much pressure to apply to it if I'm holding it correctly to, like, cover more ground, you know? 
So that's just gonna, that's something that'll ease up with time and practice. Like most things. <sighs> like most things. There we go. Huh. Nice. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Don't put your knee like that. That is a dumbass decision. Dumbass decision. Hmm. Oh, big stretch. <clears throat> okay. Ah, sorry about that chat. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that to you. Or did I? Mwahaha. Who knows? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, let me check something real quick. Um... <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. Ah. Put my charger over there. Put my phone in the charger over there. Being responsible and having my phone charged just in case. Um. Oh yeah, I need to check the weather as well. Um. While I'm scrolling through these, I'm, I think I'm going to do another little tree, a little happy little tree, off to the side right here. Try to squeeze them in. All right. Let's see. What is? It's supposed to be cloudy in the eighties. It already is. Hmm. Storms Monday. So everything's being pushed back. All right. So I can do the lawn like tomorrow. It won't be fine. I mean, it, it will be fine. Why did I say it won't be fine? What is wrong with me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be fine. The fuck you talking about? What do you mean it won't be fine? Ooh, that's a pretty one, if you can make it small enough. Maybe more like a, like a little shrub. You know? And once I'm done here, I'll probably go finish up that commission stuff. Okay. He's just a small little guy. He's just a little dude. He's living life. He's a small little bush. Wee bush.
That's a very bright red, isn't it? Nine. Merrick. <laughs> sometimes they fit and sometimes they don't. Ta -da! Double cat. <laughs> There's something immensely satisfying about that, and I don't know. I don't know why, but it is. There are times I just literally cannot come up with anything to say because I'm just like, hmm, where should my pen go? Where where should I put myself here? And my brain just shuts down and focuses on that. I should probably not be holding it that way. That's very bad posture and form. Mm. <laughs> very bad posture. You know what I've always wanted to try? Well, obviously you don't, you the viewer. But I've always wanted to try those rainbow pencils. The ones that change color over time. Um, as you use them, right? You can go, you can start out with a yellow, turn to purple, all that stuff. And I, I, that used to be a, there was a dig, oh, excuse me, words. There was a big tobacco on TikTok and it resurfaces now and then of people being like, oh, don't use this if you, you know, doing commissions and da 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 da, and it's not professional, it's very childish. And then that being countered with, it's art, it's whatever. If somebody, if, like, a person wants to commission a sketch piece, like a physical piece, and they want the artist to use, like, a rainbow pencil or whatever, or make it as colorful as possible, that's the, um, that's that person's choice. And it's not childish, it's fun. It's something new and exciting. And it's really good practice, apparently. To just focus less on like what colors you use and focus more on like form texture and shading and i've seen some really cool pieces that people have made with it 
and every time I'm just like, oh, I would love to get a pack of those. I know they're probably expensive. More than likely. More than likely. see something uh let me grab where is where is it I had to go shoot where is it where should we ship it? do i not have it like right here did i put it away what did i do with it oh no i did away with it ah well shame upon me shoot Ah, oh, well, I'll add it later. Um, but I am going to go ahead and I'm going to end the stream here. Because that's, I think that's good. I do need to get ready for work and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Um, I might add some filler into the page over time or later today. But this is what it looks like. This is the, end, the somewhat end product. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I might add some filler in. I might not. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. Maybe you draw it a little bit or just set me on the background. That's cool. If you enjoyed the show, drop a follow, turn on notifications, maybe join us in the Discord. And if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. I will be playing some Elden Ring tomorrow and crowd control will be available. So if you guys want to cause some chaos, it will be starting at an earlier time. Like, uh, maybe... 10 30 11 a.m central standard so yeah but i will catch you guys later and uh, have a good rest of your day bye